Good evening, I'm Jessica Moore. The Jennings Creek fire is only 10% contained tonight. The wildfire has scorched 3,000 acres spanning from Passaic County, New Jersey to Orange County, New York. And it's been fueled by that record-setting drought we're experiencing. Tonight, we are seeing some relief with much-needed rain. And while it's not a lot, it is the first measurable rainfall in weeks. We have team coverage tonight. Derek Waller is covering the wildfire from West Milford. But we begin with meteorologist Vanessa Murdoch. She's been tracking your first alert forecast. Vanessa, as you said, not a lot of rain, but it will take what we can get at this point. Yes, every drop counts. Will it alleviate the drought? No, but we need whatever we can get at this point in the game. Now, here are a look at the totals so far, and it feels like something worth rejoicing, considering we've gotten about a hundredth of an inch in just about 40 days. Tonight, Lepatcom picked up just about two tenths of an inch. Blue Mountain Lake, about 15 hundredths in the park, two hundredths of an inch, but we have more rain to go tonight. Here's a look at the current satellite and radar picture. It is very much a light rain for the most part tonight, exception being down the Jersey Shore. You're seeing more of a moderate rain there, but we still have hours to go. It will rain into the wee hours of your morning. Hour by hour, we take you through the forecast. Here we are an hour from now. Notice the more moderate rainfall is really starting to push into the region. 2 a.m., it's still spreading across much of Jersey through the lower Hudson and the island, but then it's as we make our way closer to daybreak, the wet weather is making its exit. Skies are beginning to clear and it becomes breezy tomorrow, which we do anticipate will again flare the flames out there. Smoke could again become a major issue after being squelched tonight by the rain, especially into both Rockland and Westchester counties. The smoke from that Jennings Creek fire could again be a concern tomorrow. Jessica, back to you. All right, thanks, Vanessa. The Jennings Creek fire turned deadly this weekend, killing an 18-year-old parks worker. The wild fire began Friday afternoon and could days could take days to get under control. Derek Waller continues our team coverage from West Milford. What? New video showing that expanding wildfire along Greenwood Lake near the New York, New Jersey border. That raging fire fueled by a record setting drought will continue to burn, officials say. Make no mistake, though precipitation is forecasted, that's not going to solve the problem that we have here with this wildfire. Firefighters whipping out leaf blowers to keep those flames away from homes. Structure protection, uh, that is our number one focus. Our whole neighborhood is, uh, you know, under siege, <laughs> put it that way. Vinny Lanza took these photos showing that orange glow across the lake, his house right there in front. That purple house. That's my house. He's never seen anything like it. Our weather's changed so much. So far, we've, we've had an earthquake, a tornado, and now a crazy wildfire. All that stuff happens all around our country, but we never had it happen over here. This fire season has shattered records, officials say, with 537 wildfires so far this season in New Jersey alone. That's roughly 500 more fires than we had this same period last year. We haven't had a fall fire season like this in New York since 2002. And it means fire crews are getting stretched to the limit. They've been running ragged here and uh, you know our number one priority is to make sure that our folks go home at the end of the day. But one worker did not make it home. 18 year old Daryl Vasquez was an employee for New York State Parks. Fire officials say he was killed by a falling tree. On a GoFundMe page family members shared Daryl was a young man full of promise, hope and dedication. He was a Ramapo High School senior and captain of the baseball team. Here's a young man that's out there doing uh, what some really hard work. Um, so I would definitely say, you know, New Jersey sends its condolences to his family. There is a voluntary evacuation order for residents of Warwick, New York, as well as some power outages. Fire officials believe they can get this under control, but it could take a few days. In West Milford, New Jersey, Derek Waller, CBS News, New York. We do have some good news about another fire burning in Passaic County. A wildfire in the area of Cannonball Road in Pompton Lakes is now fully contained. The New Jersey Forest Fire Service says 181 acres were scorched, but no structures there were damaged. Stay with CBS News New York for the latest on the drought and fires burning in the area. You can get updates anytime on our website, cbsnewyork.com.